We're going to look at something called factoring, but before we do, we have to remind ourselves of our multiplication shortcut called FOIL. Here's an example. Remember when you're multiplying a binomial times a binomial, that a shortcut is to multiply the first term of each binomial, then to multiply the outer terms, then the inner terms, and finally the last term of each binomial. You'll recall that once this is done, you can combine the two middle terms most of the time. In this case, you can. 6x minus 4x is positive 2x. And you can see how the three terms in your trinomial answer came from the four letters of FOIL. Keeping this in mind, we're going to look at factoring, which is essentially the reverse of multiplication. So when we're told to factor this thing on the left side of your screen, we're being asked to find two things that multiply together to give that result. One of the best ways that you can do this is to make an educated guess at, as to what might multiply together to give that result. So I've made this guess because the first the product of the first two terms would be x squared, and the product or multiplication of the last two terms would be negative 48. Now you'll notice here that I chose negative 12 times 4 to make negative 48, which is true, but also notice it's not the only two numbers that multiply together to make 48. So I want to reinforce here that this is just a guess. Now to check if your guess works, we're going to try the outer and inner product and see if we get a result of, of 13x. The outer product is 4x. The inner product is negative 12x, which begs the question, do those terms combine to make 13x? Well, they combine to make negative 8x, so no, they don't combine to make 13x. And what that tells me is that the guess that we made is unfortunately wrong. What do we do in math when we make a wrong guess? We guess again. So that's what I'm going to do now. So here's another logical guess. Notice in this guess, the first term of each multiplied together makes the first term here. x times x is x squared. And you'll notice this time I chose a different combination of numbers to multiply to make negative 48. Negative 6 times positive 8 is negative 48. Now, that's not the only way to do this problem, but again, it's just a guess. And we have no way of knowing whether that guess is going to work until we do the outer and inner products. So watch as I try that. The outer product would be 8x. The inner product would be negative 6x, which brings us back to the question, do these terms combine to make 13x? Well, no, they don't. 8x minus 6x is not 13x. And that tells me that my second guess was also wrong, and I therefore have to guess again. And we're going to keep guessing until we get lucky enough to get it right. Hopefully the third time will be the charm here. Let's go through. Let's take this guess. x times x is x squared. Negative 3 times 16 is negative 48. And by the way, that's not a fact most people know. But it is true that 3 times 16 is 48. So with the appropriate signs, this is a valid guess. Now to check if our guess is going to work, we're going to once again do the inner and outer products. We'll start with the outer. x times 16 is 16x. Inner product negative 3 times x. And now the question is, once again, do these terms combine to make 13x? And in fact, they do. So by luck and a little hard work, we managed to find two binomials that would multiply to give us the desired result. And therefore, that guess that we made actually worked this time. And we're essentially now done with the problem. Here's a couple reminders. These are equivalent expressions. That means that they would have the same value regardless of x. 
And it's worth noting that we started this problem in standard form and converted it into factored form, and that is the process of factoring. So the, the tough thing about factoring is that you just have to keep making guesses until one of them works. <laughs>